Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. We are told that mass and the force of gravity are intrinsically linked, uh, comprising the glue which holds together the heliocentric model, allowing everything to stick to the alleged spinning ball earth. So let's have a look at that and see whether that is really true. Here I have some cooking oil, an empty jar, normal water, room temperature water and cold water which I've just added some color to. Uh, so you can see here that um, this oil has a lot of mass. So I'm going to pour this mass of oil into the jar, okay, and gravity is said to be doing its work making the oil sink to the bottom of the jar. But uh, if we add some water with less mass than the oil, we'll just put a little bit in and see what happens. Okay, the oil, sorry, the water sinks to the bottom, even though the oil has a lot more mass than the water, the water has sunk to the bottom and is apparently being pulled down by the gravity more than the more massive amount of oil. So this in itself uh, completely debunks the idea that mass is related to gravity. Of course we have two substances here which are of different densities although the oil is thicker it is of a it's less dense than the water. The water is more tightly compact on a molecular level so uh, this is relative density. I'm going to try and add the cold water uh, using this straw. <laughs> of course, I can't do that until... But you can see that the water of a different temperature sinks deeper down than the warm water. We have some nice bubbles there too. Interesting. Quite a cool effect, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's just try it like this and pour this water in very gently. See what kind of results we get. of cold water you can see there is the warmer water is making a difference let's just try and put some more warm water in okay so the difference in temperature of the water makes a difference. We've got the cold water on the bottom, the warm water above it and the less dense oil above that. All these things are to do with relative density 
And of course, the question that will be asked by people wishing to defend the globe is what makes up and down in the first place? Well, frankly, nobody really knows, but it is the medium and whatever is put into the medium or adjacent to the medium which makes the difference. And there has to be an up and down. But the up and down doesn't mean that we stick to a ball. And it doesn't mean that everything's being pulled to the center of the earth. As we can see here, it is what's going on here has nothing to do with the earth beneath it. It has to do with what is in the container. Relative density. And anything beyond that remains a mystery. Thank you very much.